Hi, this is DarkFox127, and welcome to another Skyrim video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to upload your mods up to the Skyrim Nexus. Not the Steam Workshop, not today, but I will do a video on that at some point. So, we are going to get started by actually going to the website itself. So, here's the Skyrim Nexus. I've gone under User Area and Corinthia Tower Mod, and I'm going to go through the process as if I was uploading update 1.5 which has already gone up so if you want to go and check out Crinty Tower if you haven't already uh, please feel free go ahead I'll leave the link in the description and I would click on files here that's if I already have a version of the mod up if you're going with a new mod then you'll go through the stages of adding a mod and then you'd add the files at some stage while creating that I'm just going through as if I've already got one you should know the workings of the Skyrim Nexus upload if not then you can visit there sort of uh, help forums and all that so as you can see here's update 1.5 but if I wanted to upload a new file version I would go add files now all you do is you'll put in your name you'll put in the category which is quite interesting the category is the main file is pretty self-explanatory is it an update file so does it only contain the files that are going to be added onto what's already there is it an optional file something extra is it an old version? You'll usually tick old version when you've updated your new version and you'll you'll tick any old versions as, as old and then they'll drop down the list out of the way. And miscellaneous, is it just some other kind of file? So in this case, what I usually do, I don't do update versions. I tend to just put the whole mod package back together as a completely new version and then set all the others as old some people just add the additional files and it should add on but I'm not very comfortable with that so we're not going to get to this stage just yet because it'll say choose a file and it need to be zip file, rare file, 7z file if you're not familiar with these programs and I'll leave some links in the description I myself just use WinRAR to package up my my files into a nice little folder so that is the only way that you can upload, you can't just create a normal folder, so we'll see that in a moment. We're going to go back to my desktop, alternate click, new folder. If you're wondering why I'm using an old Windows 98 style look, it makes it easier on the uh, the sort of upload process, the video, the, the capture process. Otherwise it likes to glitch, as Windows does. So we're going to go with a new folder, and we're going to call this Corinthia Tower. 1.5 so we're going to go in here and make a new folder now what we're going to do we are going to copy the folder structure of our mod so when we go into our Skyrim data folder you go into data you'll have stuff like meshes textures music the actual ESP itself so we're just going to copy that structure so if all your mod is is an ESP on its own then you'll make a data folder and then you'll place the ESP in here if it's got meshes and textures then you have to copy through the folder structure so show that in a moment I'm just gonna first off create a data folder go in there and we are going to shortcut to my Skyrim data folder so the Skyrim data folder is usually on your C drive program files 86 Oof, can't even think off the top of my head let's go to it I've actually um, I've got sort of two folders so programs 86 program files 86 and then you'll go down and it'll be steam steam apps common skyrim and then you'll have your data folder here but mine is installed on a different drive so in my case it's storage drive e steam files steam apps common roughly the same sort of layout skyrim and then you'll have your data folder here and in your data fo folder you will find your esp so my ESP is DF127 Corinthia Tower Mod. So I'm going to copy that. Going to need that. Now you can upload the BSA with all of the meshes, textures, all sorts packed in. You can do it that way. I don't like to do it that way. That's sort of the way that the Steam Workshop does it. And I hate that method and it doesn't work brilliantly. And um, packaging up BSAs with their BSA program is just whack. So I always just copy my entire folder structure, so I'll grab my meshes, textures, music, everything. So we're just going to put these side by side, and we're going to copy over everything in our data folder, which is linked with our mod. 
so we are going to go scripts next scripts is a good one to get out of the way you've got scripts and then you've got the source the source is going to allow whoever downloads it to get into the script edit the script look at the script so if you don't want people to see your actual script how it, it's written out then don't include the source so I'm just going to go CTS and I'm going to grab all the scripts linked with Corinthians it's about 109 or something like that yep so I'd copy all of those and I'd create a new folder called script so we're just copying how it's laid out in our data folder so there's my scripts and if you wanted to include the source for whatever reason then you'd create a folder called source and then you'd copy all the the same sort of files in but I'm not going to do that so I'm going to go back and the next thing I have meshes and textures a lot of you will have meshes and textures of some sort if you have created followers and followed my tutorial the part where I mentioned that you have to use the control and F4 to get the face data to work then you'll have meshes and textures for face data so if we go under my textures to start with under actors character face gen face tint there's my Corinthia Tower and that is all the face data for the textures now that's very long winded to go and copy all um, sort of copy all those folders you know right click new actors then actor face gen so what I usually do I copy the actors one I go into textures I paste it in there and then I go through and delete anything in there that I don't need that isn't relevant to Corinthia Tower so I just keep the Corinthia Tower one and delete the rest out of there that's a nice quick way for me of doing it and then we'll do the same for meshes so you go into your meshes folder there's the actors copy that paste that in go through and delete anything that isn't relevant to your mod whoops done that the wrong way because in your textures and meshes you'll probably find stuff linked to your own mods other mods that are nothing to do with the one that you're uploading uh, you might find stuff related to mods that you've downloaded and you won't want to include that in your own setup so we've got meshes textures scripts I have my own folder called music with Corinthia Tower stuff in there so I'm gonna copy that I'm gonna paste that across because I'm gonna need that so it's everything linked to your mod now SEQ I do have an SEQ for Corinthia Tower but I don't think it's ever used really but I'm just gonna put that in just in case it's usually good for sorting dialogue out and delete the um, stuff not relevant so uh, I think that is everything linked with Corinthia Tower you might have other stuff other sort of data which you'd have to copy and like I said if you really wanted you could include the BSA and stuff but if you're using a BSA and you have packaged all this into a BSA then you should only really need the BSA uh, file so there we go we've got all that set up ready to go now all that Skyrim Nexus does is it copies this structure and dumps this into your Skyrim data and that is how it installs it. It puts all these files into the correct folders as are copied listed here in the correct place. So if you're doing it manually you pretty much download this manually, copy that and then paste in your Skyrim folder and then it would run through all those folders and chuck all the files in so the only step left here is to alternate click and we are going to add this to archives so you'll have this option if you've got something like WinRAR or uh, 7-zip installed or whatever it's called so add to archive okay shouldn't take too long depends on the size of your mod might take a while and there it is Corinthia Tower 1.5 and then I'd go ahead and I would choose file and I would upload that okay it'll only start uploading once you click submit make sure that this is the latest version if it is the latest version make sure you tick that and you can go ahead if you want to make sure that people can only download it manually then you tick this box here to remove the sort of nexus automatic installer option and you give it a name one thing to mention is you can't put sort of full stops dots in there it doesn't accept them it only accepts certain characters so I usually use a, a dash sort of thing as you can see there so Corinthia Tower 1-5 or 4 wherever 5 has gone seems to be gone 
and then I'd upload it like that. So that is the process of uploading mods to the Skyrim Nexus, how to include everything in there that you need. And it's a really simple process and you shouldn't have any trouble. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it's rather useful. Please visit my antisocial websites and my main website, all the usual. Thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you next time.